Hello. I received another uh, malicious document, Office document, that I'm going to analyze with Ole Dump. Okay, and as expected here, we have macros, but also uh, an embedded object. It's rather large here in Stream 16. So this could be uh, an embedded exe, an executable, uh, making this a dropper. So let's take a look. You select Stream 16 and you take option I to get information about the uh, embedded object. Okay, so this is the file name, the folders, uh, the size, md5 hash of the embedded file, and then the magic and the header. Those are the four first bytes and the 16 first bytes of the file, and in hexadecimal and in uh, ASCII representation. So this doesn't look like an exe uh, because it doesn't start with uh, mz. But maybe it is an encoded exe. Eh? The name here contains exe, macdoc exe. So maybe it is an exe, but uh, it has been uh, encoded. So let's take a closer look. We will extract it. And look at the beginning. Okay, so this is not an executable, uh, but notice here that we have some strings that are repeating, like uh, this one here, and this repeating. So maybe this is uh, a PE file that has been XOR encoded, because uh, a PE file in the beginning contains uh, a lot of null bytes, and when you XOR encode a stream of uh, null bytes, the, the key will appear in the encoded string, uh, encoded uh, file. So if you know the plain text, you can uh, recover the key. And that is what my tool XOR known plain text attack does. It will perform a known plain text attack on a file to see if it is uh, XOR encoded. So you have to pass it a known plain text and then the file and then it will work on it to try to recover the keys. Now here I have uh, predefined uh, one plain text and that is uh, the DOS plain text. This program cannot be run in DOS mode. Huh? This is the string that you find at the beginning of uh, PE files of uh, executables. So let's try this out here. So we pass this to XRKPA for DOS. The N here is the name. So instead of literally passing the string that we want to search, we pass it the name, the predefined name. Okay. So we have found one key, this key here, and uh, this is the key stream in which we found it. And it's very likely that it is a key because it is uh, repeating and there are 21 characters here uh, extra to the key. So let's try to decode this and see what we get. So to decode this we use option D this will decode this with the first key that was found. And indeed it is a uh, an executable of a PE file because here we find MZ and here we can find this program cannot be run in DOS mode. And these are the null bytes that I talked about. This here is the the decoded uh, string that is before uh, the MZ file. It's, it's probably um, a string to recognize by the code, by the macro. So let's cut this out with my cut bytes program. So 
so we want to cut we want to search for MZ and that's the beginning of uh, the part we want to cut out and we want to cut this out until the end like this Yeah, okay, so now indeed we have extracted the executable, decoded and extracted the executable. Uh, we can, for example, pass it on now to PE check to uh, analyze it. PE check. And it is indeed uh, a valid executable with rather a high entropy. This is the hash. And this is more information about it. It has no digital signature. PEID doesn't recognize it. And it contains uh, an overlay. 